You've said, you know, in your book that you mostly focused on uh, Caucasian prostitutes as opposed to black prostitutes. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, early on, was that problematic considering the, the, the level of racism and so forth? Well, yeah, but you know, when I came to California, you know, when I came, well, in races in the South, you know, like, uh, hey, I was, uh, you know, when I was a little kid, I went to school for, I mean, I went to the store for prostitutes. You know, uh, they had a prostitute right, right around the corner from in the early where I live, and I was a little boy, I used to go to the store for them, you know, so I knew about what was going on, you know, but uh, I, I wasn't no pimp. You know, I mean, I would just, so they said, uh, come here, little boy, and go to the store for us. I'd go to the store, and then I found out what they was doing. So I would, I would tell them I lost the money. You know, they said, where the change at? You know, they give me a twenty dollar bill, a ten dollar bill. So I would, I found out what they were doing. So I told them, I said, I'm sorry, I lost the change. You know, I lost the change. I did that three times, and they say, this boy, you're gonna be a pimp. Cause he's taking money from hoes already at 10 years old. And that's facts. Okay. Now, I mean, you have a lot of different types of pimping out there. You have gorilla pimping, which is, you know, where you, where you, you know, essentially, you know, beat up the women all the time. That's right. You got the, the drug pimps that get the girls strung out. That's right. But, but that's never, you know, you never practice either one of those. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. If it didn't fit, I didn't force it, okay? I, I was, uh, you know, uh, if she didn't want to be with me, she didn't have to stay with me. I wasn't no gold medal. I was a lover. That's why the women love me today. I'm loved by, you know, by the, in the industry. I'm loved by all the women today. You know, I'm, re I'm respected, you know, even by the older prostitutes, you know, because I wasn't no gold medal. You know, if it didn't fit, I didn't force it. If she wanted to leave, she could go. I was good at catching. When she left, one was waiting to come back and take her place. I didn't have no problem. Okay, and I mean, how, how do you actually take a woman who's never been a prostitute before and, and turn her into a prostitute? You know, as opposed to one that's already been doing it and chooses you from, from another pimp. Explain it to me. Okay, tell her love and care, okay? If you, if, you know, say you meet a woman that wasn't a prostitute, you know, you don't talk about her about being a hoe. You don't do that, you know. You, you find out what level she on. She said, well, I go to college. I said, okay, well, you know, I studied music in college. So we, we get on the college conversation. I've been to college, so I could talk to her on that level. And if she really liked me, then I would introduce what life I'm in, you know. And I, I would explain it to her. Then I had one girl, she said, well, I'm gonna try this for a year. And if I don't like it, then I'll stop. And she did it for a year. She's from Colorado. She did. And when the year was up, she said, well, I'm ready to go back home now. And I let her go back home. We gave her a party. I gave her, you know, all the clothes and like that. I bought her all the jewelry and let her went home peacefully. Okay. How often do girls try it once and, and then realize it's not for them? Well, I didn't have too many to try to leave. Maybe a couple, but I, all the ones that was with me that tried it, they loved it, and they stayed with it. Okay, and you know, like I've talked to Don Don Magic Juan about this. Yeah. And church. You know, church. I'm wrong. You know, I'm wrong. I ain't yep. church. Uh, you know, he talked about how you know when you look at prostitutes, the majority of them come from you know, lives where they were molested by a family member or a, an older person or stuff like that. A lot of times these women have very deep issues. Well, it's like you said, these girls are coming from, you know, extremely bad backgrounds. All it, you can't say that. You can't say that? No. Well, you said that all of them have usually been sexually abused and well, so forth. I did, but I didn't say they all come from background because you get them from the suburbs also. Okay. You know what I mean? It just different things that they go through. Now you can say in the suburbs that they was always like kept under a glove. And once they get free, they get a chance to do and see everything. So it ain't about just a person in the ghetto being child molested. I mean, you got some rich and famous that want to experience that life.
Did you find that to be the case? No, mine came from the projects. You know, some of them had children, some of them, you know, on the welfare, you know, and uh, that's where most of mine came from, you know, out of the projects, uh, low rent, you know. So you move in, I mean, you know, you take care of the, the kids, somebody's kid, take care of the kids, you know, because they was like my kids because they was my people. Okay, and you said in your book that the, the key to actually having a prostitute is to have a good relationship with her mother as well. Definitely, that's definitely. I, I remember, I, I remember uh, in, in uh, Arizona, you know, I met this girl and went home to her mama and everything. They, they wasn't living too good, you know, so uh, she said, where y'all from? I said, we from Hollywood. I said, I want to make your daughter a star. I'm going to put her in the movies. You know, and uh, took the mama shopping and bought them a lot of groceries and put in the house. And she said, uh, she said, well, she said, in two weeks, she'll be in Hollywood. I'm sitting on this, pick up at the bus station. And sure enough, she did that. She sent that girl to me, to her daughter. And she was about uh, 21, 22 years old. She said to her. But I okay. mean, you got you got to have a good relationship with the, with the family, you know. Uh, then then you, you know the girl will she will be with you, you know. And the, the family would encourage her just keep on doing what you're doing because that man is taking care of you. And seeing that okay. you the right things. But but does the family actually know that she's out prostituting? I don't know if they knew that. I don't, think okay. she's, I don't think she's a sinner. They all there. She know she's going to be a prostitute. She, I think that she sent her to LA because she thought she was going to be in the movies. Okay. Yeah. Just like you, Hefner. You know, they all come to the Playboy Club. And, you know, I like the Playboy Club. Well, well you know, when you look at the way that most pimps operate, you know, me, me and Don Magiquan talked about this. You know, with most pimps, you have, the, the girls give 100% of their money to the pimp. Uh -huh. a and they work, you know, seven days a week most times. So she starts, she hits the strip and starts bringing you money every day. Every day. Every day. Seven, seven days. 65 days a year. No days off. 52, what is it? 52 weeks a year. Yeah, weeks a year <laughs> and 12 what? 12 months. 12 months a year. <laughs> and then on leap year, 366 days. Hey, they don't miss a lick, but this was the thing is, as a pimp, you know what I mean, I gave them Sundays off. Not mine. Yeah, you're totally different. And why is that? Yeah. Well, because, I mean, give a, give, a, uh, give a girl a day off, you know, give them a day off to go shopping. You know what I'm saying? They didn't work, they done took chances. You know, so my girls, you know, each one of them had a day off, and her day off to go shopping, get a half big, buy something new, or whatever. Take them to dinner. Okay. And have you ever put your hands on women during the course of being a pimp? What do you mean, fighting, go with them? Well, well, yeah, you know, slapping, punching, that type of yeah, thing. You, if one get out of line, you got to do. You have to chest out, but at the same time, I mean, you don't go crazy. Okay. And, and, and then at the same time, you have to chest out one of you women. You don't send her to work that night, you know, because she go out there mad and the police stop her. You got a case. 